How you doing, man? Ryan. Brandon. Brandon, nice, Brandon. nice, nice to, to meet you. you. I'll start off. Yeah, of course, <laughs> of course, of course. So, Brandon, where are you from? Um, I was actually born in Raleigh, but then I moved up to uh, D.C. when I was younger, stayed there for a couple years, and then ended up going and living in Northern Virginia for the majority of my life. Right. Yeah. What about you? Yeah. Um, I was born in Toronto, um, and then lived there until I was five, and okay. then uh, through dad's work, my dad's Australian. Um, and so through his work, we moved back to Perth, Australia, um, mm -hmm. and then I've lived there um, until I transferred to UNC in fall. And then oh, wow. Nice. Um, go on to the next one. Um, How did you make your way in here to UNC? Um, well, I always wanted to come over to school in the States. Mm -hmm. um, and so I thought about it um, as a freshman and then decided that I kind of wanted to do a year at home. Yeah. Um, just thought... You know why not? That, that at least that way gives me an opportunity to experience life there mm -hmm. and, and elsewhere. And I think that was really nice. Um, I've seen what universities like at home, so I can compare yeah. to. And um, and then so I decided to transfer. Um, applied to a couple of schools, and then I really didn't know too much about UNC. Mm -hmm. um, going in, had never been here, uh, had never talked to anyone from here. Yeah. Um, just kind of shut the door. Yeah. Um, I mean, it looked pretty, <laughs> and I knew all about the basketball team, so... Hey, that's what um, everyone knows about, yeah, you know? I know, I know, it's a given. Um, and then, yeah, so I transferred, and then got in for fall, and, and uh, got here at the start of August, and have loved it ever since. Okay, okay, you gotta be honest, which one do you like better? I, I, university back home, right? I love it here. Here? Love it. Okay, hey, yeah. good old USA. Yeah, you, know, no, you can't beat a, us. <laughs> you guys just have a college lifestyle. Mm -hmm. At home, we live at home. Oh, really? I didn't know that. And I, drive, I, would, I work three days a week and drove into you. Okay. So it's, it's a different feel. Like here, you're living on campus. Yeah. And you're involved with everyone here. And everyone is put out of their comfort zone when they come in. Mm -hmm. You make all new friends. And so I really enjoy that. Exactly. What about you? How did you make your way here? Um, UNT actually was my first choice. Mm -hmm. um, but I had two sisters in college when I was applying and I ended up getting a uh, scholarship to come here mm -hmm. and uh, their school's really expensive so I was like it's a great college I'm gonna get like a very well-rounded kind of college experience I don't think I would have gotten at uh, some of the other universities that mm -hmm. I applied and got into so I came here visited it was pretty you know <laughs> campus it's, it's was beautiful it's not bad not bad at all <laughs> there's nothing like a spring and summer in Carolina oh, you know? that's what I'm saying Chapel Hill vibes nothing mm -hmm. like it um, so I visited, really liked it, felt like home, and I was like, I could do four years here. Yeah. And uh, that's why I kind of... What year are you? Up. I'm a senior. Yeah, right. So I'm saying, you're, you're young. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I can still it. see the life in your eyes, you know. <laughs> I am doing e -com Young and spry. slowly draining. You're an e major? <laughs> yeah. So am I. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, very nice. Um, um, what's the biggest challenge you've faced? Um... That's a difficult one. Yeah. I would say... It's a good thing that we have to think, though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have too many terrible things that no, I have exactly. to, to work through. But I think the most difficult thing I had to do um, and like kind of overcome was this past summer. Um, I was fortunate enough to go to Africa with uh, my father and my sisters. Um, unfortunately, my mother couldn't go because she's diagnosed with breast cancer and then... Uh, so she wasn't able to make the trip, but like that's why it's like the family memories, you mm -hmm. know, something that you make. And uh, we ended up climbing um, Mount Kilimanjaro oh, wow. while we were there. Wow. And I don't know, something of, like the final descent day was crazy because you, you, it was like a week long journey. So it's like each day you're just getting more and more tired. The food is, I'm not going to lie, the food was not good. It wasn't well, fueling me for my success. Spam the can, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and so um, like final descent day, like it was below freezing, like negative, like 30, like with wind chill, with like all that stuff. And I didn't pack well. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, you did not pack well. You know, young dumb is like, yo, I know the cold. Like this is this is <laughs> now the cold is just a different, different yeah. beast. So then um final descent day, like it was a total like total like twelve hours of climbing. And like I said, I wasn't necessarily preparing for the trip. Like I was like, oh I'll go. Cause it was like something that my dad wanted to do, you know. He was just like, hey, like I wanna do this, like come mm -hmm. with me. And then I'm um, not gonna lie, had a mental breakdown halfway yeah. up. Yeah. <laughs> it started freezing. Um, and I don't know, just saw like my dad and my sisters like powering through and like they were having their own hardships. And I was like, yeah, yeah. 
I just want to do it for them, you know, make mm-hmm. it up to the top with all of them. And so that's probably the most difficult thing that I've had to do. That's incredible. You know, and it was really just cool, like, yeah. having that one memory that you can uh-huh. always share with, like, your family when you all get to the top. And it's like, exactly. Hey, we did it. That kind of, yeah, that kind of feeling of success and that you made it all the way up there. Exactly. Right? You know, we've done something that, like, not everyone can say that No, like, exactly. Done, well, there's you know? something to be said for that. Exactly. So that's probably Yeah. It. What about you? What's the most difficult thing for you? Um, I'm thinking around this in my, in my head, and honestly, I'd probably have to go with with coming here, even though I was really excited and I was looking forward to it, it wasn't like I was exceptionally nervous coming. Mm-hmm. Um, I, uh, it, it kind of hit in about three or four days before I left. Cause I went to, I spent a month in Europe before I came mm-hmm. and I was home for five days and then I flew straight over to North Carolina. Oh wow. Okay. Um, so it was about five days before. Um, and then it just kind of hit and it was like, Oh my god! <laughs> like, I'm, like, I'm leaving. Like, all my friends, like I know nobody. Mm-hmm. Um, like I'm lucky enough to have a lot of family in North America. Yeah. Um, but that doesn't change the fact that there's no one here. No. Right? And so yeah. um, it's a bit nerve wracking. And then there's a the fact that I um, I broke up with my girlfriend in two years, oh, and wow. um, a bunch of my like all my best friends mm-hmm. and everything. And so that was that was quite daunting. And I, you know, I got here and it was. I was so excited, but mm. at the same time, being a transfer student, I'm not, I wasn't in any first year dorms. Mm. Um, and so I was surrounded by a lot of juniors and seniors in the dorms and I couldn't really find anyone that I clicked with. Yeah. It was like the first week or so. Um, and I was just very, you know, like I, I don't think it's difficult to make friends once you start talking to someone, but mm. it's that initial connection. It's breaking the ice. It's breaking the you ice. Know, like, oh, um, hey, you know. And I found that really difficult. And then actually completely by chance, it, it worked out. But it was just that first first week or so where things didn't, you know, I was just unsure. Um, and that's, that, that it was difficult. Um, and I was lucky enough to meet um, a girl and a guy who were both seniors who mm. are, um, Eli actually, whose art is here. Oh, that's hanging out. Okay, yeah. Shameless plug. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, but um, they'd done exchange in Perth mm. last year. Oh, um, okay. And so I got along with them really well and then met all of their friends and then through them, you know, it worked out. Uh, Connections just it, start it, forming. It's funny how you go right. anywhere. It's a small world, man. Uh, so yeah, most challenging, but also definitely the coolest. Okay. All right. Um, what's the, um, what do you want to be remembered for? Um, oh, we're going one. deep here, right? <laughs> That's what I say. I'm getting it. We're getting deep here. <laughs> um, I think I want to be remembered for being reliable and fair. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that's something that my dad really harped on me. Like, whenever I asked something of him, he never let me down. Yeah. And same thing with, like, my family. And I think that was something that's very important to me and kind of shaping the man that I am, like, I am today and, like, hope to be in the future. And I don't know, I think there's just uh, something to be said for someone that's like in like friendship, they always be there for you, it's just reliable, whenever you need something you can call him, he's gonna be like someone who's gonna give you good advice, and maybe not even advice, just someone that will be there for you, mm-hmm. you know, and um, I think sometimes in like the fair aspect comes into it is sometimes people confuse being a good friend with kind of like maybe feeding, in, not necessarily feeding into delusion, but not mm-hmm. necessarily giving them like the straight up truth. And it's like, if they messed up, like telling them they messed up. Yeah, exactly. And I think that's kind of... Being honest. Exactly. I think being like honest and being fair and like evaluating situations from kind of like a neutral third party standpoint and giving yeah. someone like, hey, like, I know I'm your friend, but I think as your friend, I should be able to tell you this. Like, yeah. you might have done something wrong in this situation. It might not all be your fault, mm-hmm. but this is how I think you should approach it from here. So all I really want to be remembered for is being reliable, fair, and like there for uh, yeah the people that I care about. No, that's a that's, hey, you could be remembered for a lot less. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> very true. Oh, very uh, true. Yeah, no, that's yeah, that's admirable. Man. What about you? What do you want to be remembered for? Um, it's a difficult one. Um, honestly, if I could, uh, along the same lines, just being a good being a good friend and and being open to anyone and everyone. I think mm-hmm. that's. Um, one of my favorite things is just, you know, having a chat with any, that's why mm. I, when I got offered this opportunity, I was like, yeah, of course. Yeah. Exactly. Cause it's awesome yeah. to get to know people. Exactly. And, Randomly. Um, exactly. And just uh, being known as someone who or remembers someone who, um, was very open, um, easy to, easy to get along with, easy mm. to talk to. Yeah. Um, and just a, just a good friend. That would be, that would be probably, yeah, probably my number one. Um, yeah. Uh, this is the last one. Mm. 
What's the most interesting thing you've learned about me? I would say that we have very similar dads. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And kind of very similar values, like kind of like not necessarily that they're like minuscule, but like mm -hmm. they're very like simple. And I think yeah. the simplicity and the kind of the things that we value exactly. is kind of interesting that someone mm -hmm. else has like the kind of the same views as me. Is like it doesn't take much to make a big impact. No, exactly. So. It, it, it's the little things that. Uh... I'm telling you, it's the little things that like you know exactly. little ripple. Yeah, exactly. Makes <laughs> like a wave. No, you don't have to complicate it too much. Exactly. Exactly. No, it's not. Uh, it's not difficult. No, I know. Uh, with you, I definitely think it's the. It's how. You know, we can sit here and have a conversation of a never met before, mm. yet from our own backgrounds draw so many of the same conclusions. Yeah, exactly. Uh, which are so different. Mm. Um, you know, growing up on different sides of the world, different family backgrounds, mm. different everything. Yeah, different almost, experiences right? Right? Exactly. from across the board. Yeah, I can sit here and draw so many parallels between mm. how you've grown up and how I have. Mm. Even, you know, things like the sport aspect, we've both been heavily involved in sport, mm. you know, we're both very family orientated, we're both very, um, you know, we both idolize our dads, which is yeah. awesome. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and, it, you know, I, I think that's really interesting is meeting people that you've never met and, and that you probably would never have interacted with exactly. had it not been for certain situations and still being like, hey, you know what, we're the same here and here and here and... We're not so and different, you know? Exactly. That's <laughs> exactly. what's really cool. And I think that um, I really value that. And that's probably one of my favorite things that I've been able to do here since mm -hmm. coming to UNC is being able to, you know, have a conversation with someone um, whose background couldn't be more different to mine. Mm -hmm. um, and still being able to be like, yeah, we get along because we have some of the shame, the same shared mm -hmm. uh, experiences, perspectives experiences, and experiences. Yeah. And... And almost more interesting than that sometimes is, is when someone's a completely different, yet you've had similar backgrounds, yet mm. they come to different conclusions. I think that's, you know, having those conversations with people and seeing, you know, how they think and what they think and what, what, the, what their For lives sure, been yeah, like. It's yeah. been one of, my, one of my favorite things to do here. Um, so, yeah, no, different, different sa same ideas, but different way of getting mm. them. I think that's definitely one of the most interesting things I've learned about you. Okay. And also you've climbed Kilimanjaro, which is awesome. <laughs> that is so cool. I am, I am very hey, impressed man, you're going to do that. it too, man. It's hey, like a yeah. I'm telling you. Yeah. You're going to think of me and think of this.